Hey everyone, welcome back to Laser Channel. My name is Mickey. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can track the hardest item ever to track in any warehouse. I can almost guarantee that you're struggling to track this as we speak. Now, before I tell you what that item is, I want you to hit the like button. I want you to hit the subscribe button. We are gonna be pumping out content every single week to help you in your business. Now, for those of you that don't know, the hardest item to track in any warehouse is the assembly item. The assembly item is an item comprised of inventory parts, raw materials, sub items that are put together to create this finished assembly item. So for instance, let me give you an example. Let's say that you distribute weights and one of the products that you sell like crazy is an easy bar with two 25 pound weights, one on each side. Now that inventory assembly is pretty straightforward. You're gonna go into your system. You're gonna create the two inventory parts. So in any accounting system in the world, you can create these inventory parts. You can create the easy bar and the weights. Then you're gonna go in and create something called an assembly. That assembly basically tells you that to create one assembly, you have to input one easy bar, two 25 pound weights. So let me give you a quick problem to solve. If you wanna create 10 assemblies, you would need 10 easy bars and you would need 20 of those weights that go on each side. So the process is pretty straightforward. As you receive the easy bars, as you receive the weights, you give entry to those sub items into your warehouse. Now, as you sell product, as orders come in for product, basically you want somebody to go out into the warehouse and put these products together to build that final assembly item. So what you're gonna send to the warehouse is something called an assembly order, okay? Or if you do production, it could be called a batch order. It's got a bunch of different names, but essentially it tells you, hey, we wanna produce or we wanna assemble 10 of these assemblies and here are the quantities that you need to assemble it. So back to our example, assuming we wanted to make 10 of these assemblies, we're gonna give that order to the picker in the warehouse. They are gonna to go to the corresponding bin locations and pick the weights and pick the easy bars. That product is then gonna go into an assembly or production area, at which point it gets assembled. Once it's assembled, someone else will count what the actual assembled quantity is. If there's any discrepancies, there will be an adjustment made for the differences in order to account for any shrinkage or anything else that occurs. So normally this is all done on paper. You give this production order, this assembly order to somebody in the warehouse, they pick the product, and then you must have somebody count that product after it's assembled. For those of you that have a system, this is extremely simple, okay? Because the system allows you to scan in, in this case, the easy bar, it allows you to scan in the weights, and it'll automatically increase the inventory for those, of those two items. Not only will the system do this, but the system, every time an order comes in for these items, Okay, you, it's gonna prompt you to go to those bin locations, pick the easy bar, pick the weights and put them together. Then there's a process where you're in, you have to count the finished goods and the system will automatically compute something called yield. Yield essentially takes into account what was consumed during the production of the process and what actually came out at the end of the production or the assembly and did the right amount come out or was there any discrepancies? Because let's say that I brought in 10 easy bars but I only assembled nine, there is a big problem. There might be some theft in that assembly room. Now with an inventory management system, you can scan that raw material, those sub items into this assembly portion and scan out the finished good. This makes it almost impossible to not be able to track your inventory. If you're not using a system, please put in the process so that you are sending these assembly orders to the warehouse so that those orders are getting assembled and so that the assembled product is getting counted after it's manufactured or assembled. Now, once a product is assembled, it has to be given entry back into your main warehouse where it will get picked at some point later on to go on a customer order where it will get delivered to them and they will be happy because they'll have their easy bar and their corresponding 25 pound weights to work out with. Now that you have an idea how to track these items and how to do the process, look, take a moment, check out our software. We do all this automatically for you. If you don't like it, well, you just got a free process out of this video and you should be able to benefit from that right away. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, hit me down below. I'll make sure to get back to you personally. My objective, my intent is to provide as much value to you as possible. Anyways, I really look forward to seeing you guys next video and I really look forward to meeting you and I hope you check out our software. Besides that, I really hope you have a great day. Take care.